Welcome to Rock Studio. I'm Lisa Gollum. So Rock Studio, the rock stands for raw creativity. And I just wanted you to know that so that when I call you rock stars, you'll know that you have that raw creative essence that we all love. And today's tutorial is going to be an abstract tutorial. And we are painting Flash of Imagination. The name is kind of fun. Um, my husband came up with it actually because I wasn't sure what to call this. So that's what this is. I just has like an air of mystery. There's lots of fun marks and fun techniques. And so I thought it was a great tutorial just to teach you some extra fun little bits that you can experiment with. So yeah, this tutorial is actually very short. So I thought I'd add in some extras just for your learning pleasure. Um, so I'm going to be showing you a few alternate ways to create a similar look as well as showing you how to paint this uh, really fun piece with all its just little details and all kinds of interesting marks. Feel free to do more than one. Choose different colors if you like because um, you'll have lots of time and the more you do it the more you will learn to trust your intuition. Also you'll get more familiar with how to use the tools like an expert. And two options as well. You can follow along and try and make your painting more or less the same design as mine. And you can even use the same colors if you like. Perfectly fine. Um, if that makes you feel safe and makes you sleep better at night, that's okay. However, if you're adventurous and you want to just try your own thing, don't feel like you have to make the same marks, the same ways, in the same places. You can just play and experiment. Um, you can use different colors. You can use more colors if you want. Um, and it's not going to be perfect and you're going to just kind of try some things and experiment. That is when the magic happens. Just like my, my tagline always says, the magic happens when you let go. So that's so true with this kind of painting style. You just really want the paint to be the master. It kind of tells you where it just wants to go and in I don't know. It's just, there's, I find it kind of magical. I really do. It, it's just so much fun. Be free, be spontaneous. And if you absolutely have to drink some wine, as you can see, I already drank this one, <laughs> but uh, not tonight. I promise. I'm okay. <laughs> so the technique that I'm using in this particular tutorial, is very similar to, to uh, my favorite painting series that I did called my Reflections series. One of those paintings is behind me. This is the one that usually lives in my living room actually. So you can see it's basically a similar style with a lot of knife pulling the paint over different other colors of paint. Just a little more complex than what we'll be doing. But a lot of the same tools that I use to make these marks are the tools that we're using today. A canvas, any size, any shape, even big, white paint, black paint, and two colors that you just love. I chose yellow, deep magenta, a jar of water, paper towels, some kind of palette, palette paper, or you can use like a styrofoam plate, some kind of a palette knife, like so. However, I'm not going to assume you necessarily have that. So I'm going to give you a couple other options. This is a putty knife. Most households have this in their garage. Um, people use it with drywall to, to, to mud drywall, I guess. I don't know. I've never done that. Fortunately, I've never had to. Uh, I don't really want to. If you have neither of those things and you really want to paint along, you can use a credit card or a CAA card in this case, an expired CAA card. All right, last thing you're going to need, an old toothbrush, like so. Do not use your current toothbrush. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. I really do appreciate you, my loyal rock stars. And I just wanted to say thanks for hanging out and I hope you have fun with today's tutorial.
Okay, I'm going to quick do a little interjection right here and I'm going to teach you a little bit more about using a palette knife. Um, there's two things we do with palette knives. One of them is to put paint on with them and the other is to scrape it back off. Put a bunch of black paint on the underside of the knife and I am very gently just setting the paint down. When you put more pressure, you get a thinner application of paint. When I just set it down nicely, I got a really generous portion of paint. This, when you push a little bit as you pull, you get some of those nice, what I call floofy little detailed things that are really cool. The other way of using the knife is to kind of pull paint back off or carving paint back off. This creates interest and textures. So now I want to show you what to do if you don't have a palette knife. So this is a putty knife. It's a fairly large one. So if I just put some black paint on the edge of this knife, you can do this with a brush too, or whatever you can, whatever you have. And then you can set it down and you can use it just like the other kind. Same principle, but if, you, if you're really gentle, you'll just move it gently. If you want to carve into the paint, you can quite aggressively with this one. And you can set down and get little lines like so. Third option, if you don't have either a palette knife or a putty knife, guess what? Now we're going to break out our CAA card. Just get paint again on the underside, place it on just like before. They all kind of work the exact same way. Make sure it's kind of sitting on the canvas and then just gentle pressure pulling across. You can put paint just on the edge and you can make little lines. So now you've, sh you've just seen me using this tool by Catalyst. They're lots of fun. They have ridges. So if you don't have this, because this is a little bit more of a specialty painting painter's item, I just want to show you other options. I don't know what this is. It's a tool by Richard. <laughs> but this works just as well. This is also a tool by Richard. Um, it's got, it's hard to see maybe for you. It's got little tiny ridges on the front there. Um, I think this is an adhesive spreader is what they call it. Same exact kind of thing that you did with that fancy art tool that I probably spent $20 on. You can do with these guys. And I wanted to mention though too, if you don't have either of those and you're really desperate, this is a wide tooth comb. This also makes lines and you can go kind of in different ways and that's just really cool.
actually because I did some extra footage showing you how to use alternate tools, I ended up with a second painting that was very similar to my first. So now I have a set. <laughs> so, you know, they're not the same, but they're similar enough. And you can kind of see that they use the same techniques. It's just so much fun. Listen, thanks so much for being rock stars with me today. Hope to see you again. Bye. Thanks so much for hanging out with me in my studio. Feel free to connect with me in the comments or check out my social media sites below. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, show those like and subscribe buttons some love. See you next Tuesday.